yes you're welcome back in today's class here who i'm supposed to be showing you dimension settings but uh, we need to get like i told you in our previous classes that uh, there are factors that govern dimension settings we need to know our skill and we need to know the paper size we need to know if uh, we are going to use a3 to print our drawing or a1 so it's a big factor in determining our or in doing our dimension settings we also need to know the scale so now i will just be showing us how we can put our, our drawing in a paper space and from there we determine our skill we're going to determine the skill of this drawing what skill is suitable for this drawing when we get that we proceed in putting it in paper space and also maybe in our next class we now do dimension settings so i've already gotten a back sheet it's a back sheet this is what is called back sheet the 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 drawing will be inside inside the back sheet so when you print it you're going to be seeing this as a border which has information of the project and you have this place space for notes and we have uh, this place for a, a revision, a rev zero or the date you are sending it. You have a uh, issue for review or approval or for construction. Then you have this place for names, name of uh, preparer, checker, approved. Yes, so this this is just called it's called back sheet, and uh, this back sheet is A3. So I will I quickly show you how to how to confirm the size of a back sheet. So to do that, you just quickly press Ctrl P. When you press Ctrl P, Ctrl P as if you want to print a drawing, you click on. If you see this thing on your screen, you click on. You just choose on continue continue plot. Then uh, you come to this place paper size. You see all the paper sizes. You see A3. A3 is 297 by 420. A4 is 297 by 210. So A3 is my concern here. 297 by 420. So the length is going to be 420 and the width is going to be 297. So let's check if our back sheet is, is like that. So I will quickly click on dimension. Linear dimension. I will choose the edge. At my left hand side then to the right and I will check the reason why the dimension is not coming out is because we have not done our dimension settings so that's why you see this is 420 the width the length is 420 so that one is confirmed so let's confirm the the width the width is uh, 297 that's correct so this is the actual size of a3 paper the way it's supposed to be you know when they say you should draw in paper space it means you use the actual paper size the actual paper size here is what we are going to use so i will now take it to my paper space i'll copy this uh, back sheet ctrl c for copy and i'll click on this layout that's by paper space. I'll click Ctrl V to paste it. This, this is my paper. So now I'll now do settings. I'll set up this paper space now. To do that, you click on Ctrl P for setup. Ctrl P. You say yes, continue to plot. So here we now set up our our printing. You can choose a printer or you choose to PDF that you normally use PDF direct. If you choose a printer, it will set it might it will send it to a printer and the printer will just print a plain sheet. So I, I, I prefer PDF. So here we, we, we select the paper size which is A3. We come down if you go to window, let us window the what you want to print is we do it yes then make sure you check this box fit to paper mm -hmm. that's good that's good 
everything is all right then i'll click on apply to layout so we can apply to that i'll select okay so it has is set so because i selected the uh, pdf it has sent to pdf you can see an empty empty sheet being pdf here so if i had chosen a, a printer it would have sent this empty sheet to a printer and it will print it out so it is so it's going to be a waste of paper so we just choose pdf so that you can even cancel so now i'm going to be bringing in my drawing so you have to pay attention but at, at this point if you are new to this channel i will beg you to quickly subscribe share my video click the subscription button and also click the bell button for notification so that anytime i post videos like this you'll be notified and you quickly watch and you know we keep growing together thank you very much as you do that so now i'm going to do we call it viewport so we so bring it in i'm going to type mv mv you can see my screen mv you click enter so i'll click on this first point as you can see on your screen and and this place again so it brings out all the drawing i have in my model space so if you look at this place you see model this model is model space i have drawings here in model space so these layouts i can even add more if i want to add more i can delete if i want to delete yes so this is the one i'm using for now the, it is called the paper space so when you are, whenever you are whatever you are doing in layout you are, you are doing it in paper space so now it is showing me almost all the drawing i have in in, in my model space in my model so i need to now bring in this one this is the drawing i am bringing into this paper space i want to position it like this you see the beauty of paper space so what i'm going to, about to do now is exactly what will give me the skill of this drawing and that's just that once i've gotten the skill of the drawing i already know the the paper size then i can go for my dimension settings so now let's do that you type z z for zoom enter then i will try skills that i think it will work so I'll be playing with them once I get the one that is perfect for me. So if, if I do one skill, one is to is to is to 50 XP. This is how you have to type it. You must type it like this. You type the skill, then you add it XP. Then you click enter. You see? So from if I want to use skill one by fifty, this is how my drawing is going to be. So is it okay? For me, I don't like it. If I if I'm to dimension this side, it means my dimension my dimension line will go outside the border to go outside the back sheet. So it this one will not serve me. I need to reduce it. So I will not take this one. I will do another one. I say zoom enter. One is to seventy five XP. Enter. This one is 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 okay for me yes it's okay for me okay i can still try zoom enter one is to 100 xp you see this is too small for me i don't like it so let me use 75 zoom enter one is to 75 see the way i'm playing with it that's exactly how it's done until you get what you want so this one now is what i want so i'm not going to touch my screw button if i touch my screw button it will change the skill like if i touch it like this the skill has changed if i touch it like it has changed so once you get your skill do not touch your screw button so what you do is your pan you use pan to position it so i'm going to do that again zoom sorry zoom enter one is to 75 xp so i'm going to pan it this is what I would do because if I zoom again, I will just change the skill instantly. So I will pan it to position it to where I want it to be. I think it's all right like this. It's very okay. Good. So the next thing I will do is I'm going to lock 
this pepper space so that even if I zoom, even if I mistakenly touch my screw, my screw button on the ma ma my mouse, it will not change the scale. So I will say, as I have selected the viewport, I will right click, then go to display locked, select yes. That's fine. So even if I zoom, it will not change my scale. That is the beauty of paper space. That's just that. So now we have our paper size which is a3 and the scale is 1 by 75 so in our next class we are going to be doing dimension setting we are set for that so it's going to be an interesting one 75 we cannot cannot boldly type 75 here that is the scale of this drawing this is simply how to determine the scale of your drawing the standard way this is the standard way to do it so persons we come to model space and they will be scaling up the back sheet you know it's not the standard but people do it like now that i have known that the scale is 75 they will simply scale up this drawing by 75 that is multiplying 75 by just you say type scale yes s s c for scale you click at any point you scale it by 75 the scale the back sheet becomes very big to be able to accommodate the drawing so when you do that you can now simply move this back sheet to this place and it gives you something like this this one is for model space but the standard requires that you don't scale up your back sheet everything has to be to scale your back sheet has to be in scale one is to one having actual sizes of if it is a3 420 by 297 but now that I have scaled up this back sheet, if you dimension it, you see that the, the dim dimension has changed. It is not ideal. It's not the standard. But people do it. Nobody will crucify you if you do that. So that's why I'm even showing you. So if you prefer it, fine. But I'm not advising you to do, to do that. You can't even see the dimension. Okay, maybe when I... I do the, the settings it will, it will i will show you so you see that the dimension have changed it's no longer 420 but in our paper space it is still 420. so here you can even rename your paper space so in this drawing in this in this uh, model space i can have my plan my approach elevation my left elevation right elevation back rear view and roof plan here and even section i will line them up and i will put them on these layers i can name this one ground floor ground floor i'll put my ground floor here then on this one i might, I might put my front elevation front elevation sorry I'll right click rename front elevation And, and and so on so all the you see all your drawing will just be in one file that's the beauty of a paper space me i love drawing with paper space and that's what i will be showing you how to do things properly not jumping protocols and it it is easier safe and it makes the job very smooth and very clean that's good for now we are going to end here so in our next class we are going to be doing dimension settings we are set for the dimension settings we have gotten our skill which we are going to use our skill is a major input in dimension settings and we have gotten our paper size so these two things they are two big factors in our dimension settings so i'm going to be doing that in our next class don't miss it if you have not subscribed subscribe to my channel keep uh, stay tuned share my content with your people give me a feedback i need your feedback i need your positive feedback Thank you as you do that.